Today I wanted to show you a small tool I have built for myself that I'm actually using quite a lot to test out different models. So basically it's more of an autonomous evaluator, so you can kind of set these specific problems you want to solve, and then you can kind of just see what models that perform best, right? So basically how this works, you can kind of see it here. We have a problem, we can store it in a text, in a variable, that's up to you. And we create a list of different models we want to choose, let's say from Olama. So we have Mistral, Phi Tree, Llama Tree, right? And we can make the list as long as you want. And we create a loop that kind of goes through every single model. Each model is going to try to solve the problem. Each answer from each model is going to be stored. And then when we have all the answers collected, we're going to have GPT-4, in this case Turbo. It's going to evaluate every single model. Uh, what kind of plan they had, what kind of answer they gave, was the answer correct. We can kind of set these parameters ourselves. And at the end, uh, GPT-4 Turbo is going to select a winner uh, from kind of the evaluation process. Of course, you can go over manually and check the answers yourself. But uh, I use this uh, for some kind of problems when I'm not 100% sure what model I should pick for a certain task, right? So I find it very helpful. Hope you will too, so let's just take a quick look at the code, and I'm going to show you kind of how this works. Okay, so I actually have two versions of this. So one is just going to solve normal text problems, and the other one is actually solving code problems. Uh, this version has the opportunity to actually execute codes and get some return back that we can evaluate. Uh, I might spend a bit of time explaining this, but uh, I think the main focus is going to be on the text version and maybe on my member section if people want to dive deep in, I'll do a video on that if you are interested. But let's just go through the text version here. So we have two simple functions here to open and save files. Uh, yes, we are using OpenAI here. In this case, I'm using GPT-4 Tur GPT Turbo to do the evaluation. That's just my preferred model to do this. I haven't. I have tried GPT-4 O2, but for now I'm just using GPT-4 O Turbo. GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, we set the system message so you are an expert at evaluating test results, related context from the eval. So we want to feed always some related context into the system prompt. I'm going to show you kind of how I do that because we want the answer right. If we solve, try to solve a problem, we want the answer to the problem if we're going to evaluate it right. Here is our simple Olama function. Uh, you can see we have model here. We have model equals model. Uh, we just have this set as Mistral now, but we can uh, go through like in a for loop and always change up the model, right? Uh, the execute Python function is just basically from the other version, so I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, this is the same, so just to clean up some code if you are using the code version. So here is kind of our main function, that is the process step function. So we're going to open a problem. So that could be a text problem in this case, right? So you can see our problem is a logical problem. Kaylee has three brothers. Each of her brothers has two sisters. How many sisters does Kaylee have? So the answer, of course, is she has one sister because she's a sister too. So there are a total of two sisters, but she only has one, right? And that is our problem. And here you can see we have a list of models. So let's just uh, do the sh uh, long list now, right? So we have Mistral, Codestral, Phytree, Llama3, Gemma7b, Magic Coder, Quens 14b. I have a lot of other models too we can test, right? And we have a list uh, we can store the results in. So here you can see our for loop, right? For modeling Ulama models, we are actually going to go through every single model. So the first prompt for each model is going to be create a detailed plan to solve this problem step by step. And then we're going to feed in the problem, the model and the prompt, right? And we're going to run through this and kind of append it to model result. And we're going to try to solve the problem. Here we have a text prompt that we feed in the problem, the plan to solve the problem and an instruction to actually solve the problem, right? And this is going to go through every single model. We have some kind of status here, success. Uh, that is more suited for the code version. But I might get back to that when we see it in action. Uh, then we're going to print uh, the answer from each model, as you will see pretty soon. And again, we're going to append the results to 
model result. So we kind of have that. Uh, here is kind of our summary that is going to be prepared and it, all of these parameters here is going to be filled out. And then it actually comes to the evaluating process here. So we're going to use OpenAI shut function here, right? GPT-4 Turbo. The prompt we use is problem given by the models, right? Because we want to solve this first. So solve the models to find the eval parameters. And we have a system message. You're a great solver of logical problems. I just made something up here. And then we have the evaluation prompt. So we're going to feed in the problem again. Correct answer to the problem that we got from this variable, right? And evaluate the performance of each model based on the result. And here we feed in all the results from our summary, right? Which model performs best and why? Also print the answer from the best performing model. And then we're going to run this evaluation prompt in our OpenAI function. And we're going to print the correct answer to the problem so we can just see it. And then we're going to print the evaluation of the results. And we're just going to run this. So yeah, pretty straightforward setup. So I think we're going to run this now over this logical problem here. And then we can kind of get an evaluation of what models performs best on this specific task. Okay, so let's run this now and I can kind of show you how this works. So you can see, the first thing you will see here is that we can see what kind of model we're using. We, we will not display the plan it's generating, but we will display the problem, right? So you can see Kaylee has three brothers and Kaylee has one sister. Okay, that's the correct answer. So that's a good answer by Mistral. So the answer is that Kaylee has one sister. Perfect, that is the correct answer. Now we can say we are moving on to code stroll. That is our next model on our list. And this says that Kaylee has two sisters. Uh, that is wrong. Because there are two sisters in total. But Kaylee is one of them. So she only has one sister. Now next model is uh, Phi 3. That was a long answer. So it had determined that Kaylee has three sisters. That was strange. But that is also wrong. So I'm just going to let this run through now. You can see now we are on Llama 3 and let's take a look at the end and what kind of winner uh, our GPT-4 Turbo will find here. Okay, good. So now we can kind of see, now we have the evaluation back here from GPT-4 Old Turbo. So you can see the best performing model in this scenario is Mistral. Perfect. This model correctly interpreted the information given logic concluded that Kaylee has one sister. The reasoning was clear and accurate, and yeah, perfect. So answer from the best performing model, Mistral, Kaylee has one sister. So in this case, uh, we picked Mistral, and that was the only model that kind of gave the correct answer. So perfect, so you can see this evaluation process by GPT-4 Turbo is actually working. Uh, I have some other stuff I kind of want to add to some more parameters, maybe some more visuals here. But for now, I think this is good. And yeah, it picked the model we uh, should probably use for something like this. Uh, I also want to kind of display the code version of this. So let's take a quick look at that. Okay, so I decided not to go through every single function here in the code. But like I said, if you become a member, I will probably upload this to our community GitHub. So you can find the link in the description, become a member of the channel, get access to our community Discord and the community GitHub where I put all my scripts up right. So let's take a look at the problem here. So this is the problem I want to solve choosing one of the Ulama models. I need to sort a big list of books from low to high numbers using a bubble sort algorithm. This is my number list and this must be done in Python, so very simple problem. So let's run this now and see what kind of models can solve this, what cannot. So let's just open this, let's clear this. Let's go Python, I think I call it, yeah, something like this. And it's basically the same setup. You can see uh, we are using Mistral. We are generating a plan. And it's just going to go on and uh, writing the code. I think we're going to execute the code. And you can see, okay, here we got a syntax error from Mistral. That's not good. The code look okay. So let's just run through this and see what kind of models that perform best at this uh, in the end. Okay, so we have run through all the models, so the evaluation results are back. And we have a pretty surprising winner. 
The model file tree provided the most detailed explanation of bubble salt algorithm, including an overview of the algorithm, uh, steps, and noted time complexity. Correct Python code implementation correctly predicted the output, therefore, phi tree can consider the best performing model in this case. If we scroll up here, you can see we had actually two models that solved this correctly. Here is the phi tree model, it generated this code. And when we executed the code, you can see we sorted our books correctly, right? Uh, there was one more model that actually solved this, and that was the. Uh, what one was it? Yeah, magic coder. Uh, this also created a nice code here, and it got the correct output. But GPT-4 evaluated Phi-3 in this case, pretty surprising, to be the best model for this exact kind of task. Yeah, so yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, that is basically what I wanted to share today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, like I said previous, if you want to try this out, if you want to become a member of the channel, uh, get into the community, just follow the link in the description. I have also started to do live streams now. So look out for that tomorrow. Uh, my plan is to do a Monday live stream. And it might be a couple of more this week. Uh, depends on what we, yeah what the engagement is around it so yeah uh, i've been really enjoying the live streams it's pretty cool to kind of interact with people some questions and it's a bit more of an engaging experience it's kind of new for me but uh, yeah i kind of like it so hope you enjoyed this and maybe you can get something out of this maybe you can create your own version so yeah thank you for tuning in have a great day and i'll see you again yeah uh, if not on the live stream on wednesday See ya.